No. No. What we're not going to do is use your astrological sign to explain away or justify your manipulative, narcissistic behavior. Kokai. 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 Mpo. Wait, wait, wait. Nitiki yona yona Wife. Wife. Eh, okana wan chola ko. You can catch me there by the corner. I saw the breakdown that he had online. And I was like, do you need some water? <laughs> Men should also deserve all the special things that they also do for their women. Men deserve a nothing. This is the perfect partner that you should be, that should be buying you things and making you a stay-at-home girlfriend and this and that and the other. Bye, bye with that. But because Tandy is in Toge when I suppose this. Okay, no, no. You hear my chat? So I hear you. Exactly. Exactly. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is I, it is Jess Katleo. Thank you so much for being here as always, filming one of my favorite videos today. <laughs> We're doing the unpopular opinion segment. I wrote down my list. I asked you guys on Instagram to give in your unpopular opinions and we're going to get into it. Okay, I'm going to end off with mine, start with yours, and we're going to have a good time. So grab yourself a drink. <laughs> Alcohol is nice. Whether it's a tea, whether it's a Zanga Zang brown drink, whether it's a whatever, whatever it is that you want to have, let us have some fun. I'm really looking forward to this video. This is one of my favorite segments to film. So as always, Thank you for choosing me over and over again. Let's try and get the videos to over a thousand likes. That helps recommend me quite a lot. And I also do have a membership space. The link is in the description down below. You can join the membership space. There is a join button right below what you are seeing right now. There's a join button. You can click that join button or you can check for the link in the description box. And the membership space is where you will have access to more personal content that I that I record, um, extra bonus content with Diesel and things like that is in the membership space. So if you want to check it out, definitely click on there. You will get to see all of the videos, whether you've joined today or you join next week, you will still get to be able to see all the videos. You're not going to just see the ones going forward. So thank you so much to everybody who is a member. Thank you to all my members. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you for sharing, tweeting, this, this, all the good stuff. I really do appreciate it so, so much. Outside of that, let's get into the new video, the new unpopular opinions video. Let's get into it. I'm not even going to waste no time. Cha. Let, man, let's have some fun, shall we? Let's have some fun. So right. the first one, I really felt like it was a bit of a dig. It was a bit of a dig. I felt attacked. I felt like this person really just doesn't appreciate me and appreciate the things that I love and the things that I want and the things that I do. She says sushi is not nice, guys. I... No, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. Okay, honey, it's an unpopular opinion when I, eh, 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 my sister, eh? but sushi is great. I, I feel like if you have the real stuff, the good stuff, Sushi is really, really great, but also at the same time, I do understand that sushi is a, 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 um, what is this, a quiet taste. So like people who eat eggplant and people who love artichokes and things like that, it's an acquired taste. So you don't have to like it. You know what I'm saying? But for, for saying sushi, it's not nice. No, you can catch me. I'll be waiting. Uh, uh, you can catch me there by the corner. Even with family, there is a line that shouldn't be crossed. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't even think that's an unpopular opinion. I mean, if you ask me, I think that's, yeah. Yeah, family, friends, listen, there's a line that absolutely should not be crossed. Whatever your boundaries are, and if somebody is going to cross those boundaries, then sweetie. <sighs> I'm so tired, yeah. I would I'm so tired. I'm really tired. No ma'am. No ma'am. Not 
not today. Ditebo, not today, not today. Okay. Uh, the Renaissance era. Beyonce just tries too hard. The dangerously in love B was so relatable. <laughs> I agree. I don't like the Renaissance album. I don't, I haven't even, I don't even listen to it. I downloaded it once and then I was just like, okay. I really, I, I don't. It's just so far from the Beyonce I know, right? And that's just my opinion. I know that Beyonce's got her stands and all of that, but let us have our unpopular opinions. I couldn't agree more. The Beyonce in Dangerously in Love, the, 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 the Beyonce in, man, uh, Sasha Fierce, what, what, uh, you know, man, man. I think for me, um, the last album that I really, really loved at Beyonce was Lemonade. After that, I, I, I haven't really given myself an opportunity to listen to uh, any of her stuff, but that's just me. That's just me. I agree. I agree. Um, I don't follow trends or what other people like. I love my own lane. I despise groupies to take several seats with that. It's an unpopular opinion. Uh, <laughs> I mean, girl, I mean, girl, I hear your chat, but there are people such as myself who are like that. I don't follow the trends. I don't, I don't like what most people like. Um, I'm not a groupie for celebrity. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not. It's just, uh, it's definitely an unpopular opinion. I do agree with that. But um, there's, nah, nah, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. Um, this nonchalant chat about judging popular people like they're perfect they're humans just like us people need to chill definitely there i couldn't agree even more i feel like when someone is popular and they're an influencer or a, or a, or a celebrity or whatever and they're known for something right um we often try to want to see them as being these perfect people who are constantly just happy, who are constantly just, you know, they've got makeup on every single day, they're living their best lives, they're, they're eating out every single day and whatever. But uh, um, um, celebrities get angry too. Influencers get mad too. Um, you know, we, we, we also sometimes walk out and go to the store in our slippers, bro, like. <laughs> Not in our pajamas, but maybe in our house shoes and stuff. Like we, it's it 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 be like that sometimes, you know. Um, but I think yeah, people are definitely hard on uh, people who are well known, and uh, that that ain't cool. That ain't cool. And I prefer money over flowers. I just don't like flowers. Yup, girl. Everybody prefers money over flowers. I like flowers, okay? But if I had an option, if somebody was like, okay, do you want me to buy you flowers? Do you want me to buy you 50 roses? Or do you want me to give you the money? I'd be like, give me the money, bro. <laughs> give me the money because the roses are gonna die. The roses are gonna die. These beautiful flowers are gonna die and then I'm gonna have to throw them out. So just give me a money so I can go do my, my nails or just treat myself to something nice or whatever. Just, ah. it's, it's, it's an unpopular opinion, but that's, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Smeg appliances are overrated. Yes, I said it, sis. I, 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 I. Absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. There's there's only one one Smeg fridge that I feel like is just ah, it's just it's vintage. It's I love that fridge. I'll try and put it here. But outside of that, the kettles, the 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 toasters and whatever. Nah, you can catch me several streets outside. With that, you know, it's a, they got the retro vibe about them, which Smeg does have like a retro line, but it also does have like the newer, more modern, finished looking kind of uh, uh, appliances. But that line that everybody has, they have them in white and they have them in red and they have them, nah bro, catch me several seats outside, no. Smeg has great appliances, yes. But those ones, the, the ones that everybody's making a, who, a, a huge hoopla over, nah, bro. Bye, 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 bye.
Why? Uh, Dubai is not a real holiday destination. It's just popular on Instagram. Don't buy into the hype. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't know, man. I think Dubai is pretty nice, man. I, th I think I think it's, pr it's pretty all right. I don't know. I don't know uh, what would qualify or quantify a place to be a proper holiday destination. I mean, Dubai capitalizes on uh you know the, the 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 desert and all of that to actually make it an enjoyable experience for people who are on holiday so i i i don't see an enjoyable holiday destination to just be where there's sand and sea and 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 maldives and all of that i don't think so i think there are many other places that are nice and and dubai is it's 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 lovely because it's different like that um introverts have to work so much harder to get opportunities it's an unpopular opinion and i definitely ding ding i agree with that one i feel like introverts have to work so much harder to get opportunities because we don't sort of step up um like 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 extroverts do right so we've got social anxiety and we've got all these things where you know we just don't but when 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 we are uh presented with a with a with an opportunity a lot of the time we we work hard to try and shine however to get that opportunity is hard for introverts it's really really hard to even get it is hard uh ghost ruby is overrated i don't even follow him and stir so I don't know if that's popular or unpopular, but I know who he is. Uh, 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 I, I saw the, the, the breakdown that he had online a while ago. Why are you da -da? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw the breakdown that he had online and I was like, do you need some water? <laughs> Just... Take a, take, a, take a breath, take a breath. But uh, I don't. Uh, uh. Influencers have glamorized this word. <laughs> Who? <sighs> That's definitely an unpopular opinion. Uh, am I inclined to agree? I don't think it's something that I really follow or uh, and I think when she says influencers have glamorized that um, it, it, I think she's got certain people she's thinking of in mind <laughs> uh, but for me personally I just I don't know I've never thought about it in that way man I think it's uh, who that's that's a little bit of a uh, a, a conversation starter, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> isn't it, mate? <laughs> it's okay to start having babies post 35. This thing of biological clock doesn't shake us. Facts. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean. We know that the biological clock eventually at some point does stop. Yes, but you can. There's so many things that you can do nowadays with how technology has advanced in terms of having children and all of that, that the reality is yes the biological clock at some point it's it's gonna be time up it's gonna be time up for you okay but i do still think there are many women over post 35 post 40 who've had children and uh have safely delivered and all of that so yes is it easier to to hook catch her when you are younger yes but uh the fact that you having babies post 35 is an issue, I don't think so either. I really don't. Men should also deserve all the special things that they also do for their women. Men deserve a nothing. I'm joking. Of course, of course. It's an unpopular opinion, and I agree with that one. I think um, all the lovely things that they do for women or for their partners or whatever, uh, they deserve uh, that in return as well. I definitely do agree. I definitely do agree. Move on to my unpopular opinions, the ones that I wrote down. Don't be mad. Take a drink if you are going to disagree with some of what I have to say. Okay, okay. Felicia, I'm looking at you. Okay, take it easy. You don't have to be loud 
to convey a certain point. You don't have to be loud, crass, brash. Do you want me to laugh. bring the receipts? Do I need to bring the receipts, oh, baby girl? Oh, no. I got receipts. Oh, to convey a certain point. There's, I call it. I call it. You just need just convey your point without having to attract attention by being loud about it. Okay, I, I that's that's just my chat. That's my unpopular opinion. I don't know. You can catch me several streets outside with that if you disagree. We can have a match about it, and then you'll get it by the end of the <laughs> more people could be in relationships and possibly good relationships at that if they actually gave people a chance kuluma now i guess was this it's actually zation ili wabona wena tebo wena i'm talking to you because he's not my type he doesn't have this he doesn't have a car like this he drives an uno no because this he he drives this he he's not making uh, six figures and this and this i don't if you gave it a chance Sinta, if you gave it actually a chance, I feel like more people would be in relationships, good relationships even, with good people. I feel like many good people lose out on being in relationships, healthy ones even, because they just are not deemed as society's um type of partner that a person would be looking for right what society has deemed this is the perfect partner this is the perfect partner that you should be that should be buying new things and making your stay at home girlfriend and this and that and the other bye bye with that so because you are seeing it on the tiktok okay you are seeing it on the tiktok now, this is what you want for yourself. And you're turning away relatively good partners had you actually given it a chance that you could be in a good relationship. But because Tandy is in Toge, when I suppose this. Okay, no, no. Okay, this one I don't know if I've mentioned before, but I think I may have. People use mental health struggles, mental health um, illnesses, mental health, whatever it is that they may be going through mentally to come across as more relatable. Yes, mother. Yes, mother. You can catch me outside if you think I'm wrong. Ralebona. Ralebona, Ralebona, you talking about how you went through, you know, you're just so depressed. You haven't even been diagnosed. Shop. You're, you're, you're so depressed, you know. Um, your anxiety is this and this. And, you know, I, I've just had so many, um, you know, trauma bonding things. And, 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 and I had so many trauma, this, this, this. But then, but then, calling to it off. Like, even though somebody may be saying that, Calling to her off about it, you know, but they use it because they've seen that a lot of people go the route of talking about their mental health only because they want it to be a more common, commonly spoken about topic. So they actually become brave enough to actually talk about the fact that I'm a high functioning, depressed individual or this, that and the other. And they see, Uriyo, I see how, how people are relating to Katle on this. Now I'm around with that. Next thing, now you are now having talks and sit-downs and vlogs where you're talking about your mental health and how you've got... Meanwhile, you have not even consulted a psychologist or a, a psychiatrist at any point. You're doing it to seem more relatable. That is not cool because there are people who are really struggling with mental health uh, issues that, that what you're doing nullifies their experience. You hear my chat? Stop doing that thing. Stop doing that thing, okay? Yeah, this one's gonna make y'all mad, but hey man, it be like that sometimes. Some of you guys choose to be friends on. Duh. <sighs> this is all I got. It's a choice of yours to be friend zoned. It's a choice of yours to be in a situation. Come at me. Come at me. Think about it. Think about it before we can't have a drink, okay? It's your choice to be friend zoned. It's your choice to be in a situation. Just don't be in it. If you can see that this person does not like you like that, but likes to keep you around because you're a good lay, or likes to keep you around because this, 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 but they don't want to be in a relationship with you, but they're going to be in a relationship with everybody else. 
choice. Then you can. Mm. It makes sense. The then you choose to remain there. It's hard to leave someone you feel like you love them and this and that and the other. I hear the chat. I'm here for that chat. But you choose to stay in situationships. You choose to stay as a friend's only. You choose to be there. You allow that. You allow that enabling behavior that is happening to you to happen to you. You hear my chat? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, People using their astrological signs to justify their behavior. I'm a Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio, okay? So yes, maybe I tend to be a little bit vindictive and what, what, you know that that's what they say about Scorpios. No, no. What we're not gonna do is use your astrological sign to explain away or justify your manipulative, narcissistic behavior. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> no, Geminis can't be with one person at a time. Geminis like excitement. Geminis this, this, this. So yeah, sometimes I just can't be with one person at a time. Yeah, sometimes I find myself cheating. Yeah, this, because you're a Gemini? Where, Ditebo? Kokai. 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 Mpo. Wait, wait, wait. I don't understand what you're saying, Lucille. I don't understand what you say. You can't be saying, Hori, because of your astrological sign, this is why you behave a certain way. Get, get out of here with that mess. What is that? <laughs> you behave that sort of way because you're a shady person. How about that? Ugh. Apps like Facetune and all of that, they normalize unrealistic standards of beauty. I, I ain't even finna lie. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a content creator. I post things on my Instagram and all of that. But I look at some of these other highly filtered uh, 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 pictures. Very highly filtered. Like your skin looks flawless. And we know you don't look like that. When we see you in the public, we know you don't look like that. Skin is flawless everywhere from top to bottom, flawless. And then uh, your teeth are white, white, white. And then uh, your brows are great. And then you have just this amazing hue of pink on your lips. Where? Where, Michelle? Where? Hi. <laughs> I don't get it. Get me? Two streets, it normalizes unrealistic standards of beauty. And it makes people who are not using apps like that or who are not influential in that way that they would use their apps like that or have their pictures professionally edited, it makes them feel less than because they don't like, oh my gosh, now, now look at me. I got a mark here on my face. I got a this, this, this. No, I'm behind this makeup face. I've got a mark here. I've got a mark here. I have to wear makeup for the video. But when I'm out and, and about, hey man, the market's there. The market's there. I fell. The market's there. Yeah, if. Yeah, if. So, like, it, un, it normalizes really unrealistic standards of beauty. And sometimes we just got to call it what it is. Just, um, oh, man. This, this is, yeah. This is, this is tricky. Someone can love you. Okay. Take a drink. Take a drink. Someone can love you and still cheat on you multiple times. More than once, the table, quote, more than once, someone can love you, Mare, okay? Someone can love you and still cheat on you multiple times. It does not mean they don't love you. No, 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 no. It's just greed and cowardice and all these other things. They want to keep you around. They love you. They do love you. But they can still cheat on you multiple times. Catch me outside if you think I'm lying there. Wife, wife, kionayonit. They can love you and still cheat on you multiple times. It's sad to say that out loud. And we'd like to believe that that's not true. We'd like to believe that that's not true. The final one is 
hookup culture is toxic. I think I may have spoken about this before. I don't know. But I, I see it a lot with young kids, right? With the young, with the youngins, with the 20 years, right? Hookup culture, it's fine. Hey, YOLO, I'm living my life. No, it's toxic AF. It's really toxic AF. It can even most times leave you drained and lonely and, 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 and uncomfortable and doubting yourself and doubting your potential and doubting all of that. Hookup culture is not something to aspire to. More than anything, it changes how you feel about yourself mentally as well and not in a good way. It's not cute. It's not nice to see someone changing partners constantly being with someone for two days and then next moving in what nah nah bro i'll give you a case an example steve harvey's daughter Lori harvey mm -mm. no why are you not giving yourself enough time to heal to work on yourself you just ba 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 da ba 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 ba, and then we're going to justify it and say she's living, she's living her truth, she's owning her truth. It's toxic. That's not cool, bro. You don't heal from jumping out of one relationship today and into another one and say utahila kopele. Wait, wait, sinta. Wait, wait. I don't get it. It's toxic AF. It's not a good look. It really isn't a good look. You, they can sit here and say, oh, no, but she's living her best life. She's owning her truth. I love it. I love how she's doing this, playing this with these men and this and this. It's still, men or women, nah, it's not cute. It's not a cute look. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. How about that? Okay, that's it. <laughs> that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna go now thank you so much for being here as always if you did enjoy the video please like the video subscribe to the channel join the membership space if you care to if you can would love to have you over there as well there's lots of videos that we have on there as well so thank you so much don't forget let's get it over to a thousand likes okay let's do that and um yeah i'm gonna go i'll see you very very soon in the next video until then see you later